Greetings everybody! This will be a very quick tutorial on how to upload your map into a server and actually test it. This, the emulation server software we're going to be using is a pre-compiled, all-in-one, ready-to-go beginner eAthena v4. And the link to download that is right here. You can see it's a Mediafire link right here. I'll post that in the YouTube video so you can easy access to download it. It's pretty small. It's, this is a quite an out, this is quite an uh, an outdated uh, emulation revision of the Ethernet emulator, but who cares because the whole purpose of this is just to test the map. We don't really care about, you know, what we want the latest updates and features purely for testing maps. So, download that, uh, extract it onto your desktop, the files, and in in that folder, I would like you to add the data.grf file the rdata.grf because you need your two GRF files because what's what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have a te your, your emulation test software side on up here and then your actual client uh, client stuff uh, as well in the same folder so we can test it and run the emulation software so once you have that download it you know add the data.grf files make sure you have all the necessary DLLs and I'll show you how to actually get this map in so the first thing to do is to add your maps to the map underscore index located in your eAthena with the X here, DB database, and then map underscore index. Just type map and you should find it right there. Excellent. Just scroll down and add your map. So you can see there's already maps there. If you want to add a custom map called custom, whatever, just type in custom, which is the name of the map that you want to add provide it with the space and then after that you have a, a, se a sequential number so like that but uh, because I already used 1250 has to go consecutively down the list so in this case it would be 1289 and you can see that it starts right here All right? and it gives you a little it like, gives you a, a little example as well technically you don't need the starting number I just do that for reasons of uh, duplicates so you, you know that sort of thing, map duplicate. So you don't need the number, just put the number of the map, the name of the map, and then save the, the map underscore index file. All right, the next file you need to look at is your maps underscore eAthena, which is located in the config folder. So open that, maps underscore eAthena, let's find it. It's right here. Open that up, scroll down, same thing, map colon space, the name of your custom map, and save it. All right, so those are the two important files to add your map to the server, so the the database is updated to the map, so the server knows and will recognize that you have that map installed, or it's supposed to read it. So after that, you need to actually get the client uh, files or your map into your role directory. So when you start your client, it has the actual map files. So to do that, in the main beginner Ethan v4 directory, just make a new file, a new folder called data and drop your three main map files in there, which is your .rsw, your .gat file, and your .gnd. The .extra file is not needed, it's just for you know developing purposes or developer who builds browted maps. And once you have that, you're good to go. And the last thing you need to do is to update your map cache.dat, and that's located in eAthena, db, and just type in map cache, and there it is. This holds all the GAT information of each and every single map loaded into the server. And to update this, I'll show you a very easy way to do it. And that's using a program called We Map Cache. And I'll show you a link to that. So here's the site right here. It's under rathena.org, the new Athena forums, which is Renewal. And you could find it, it's made by Shinra. Very nice developer, and you could see that you could, you know, have a little preview of what it does, you know, things like that. The download, the download link is over here. You, have to, you would have to download via SVN because because he's constantly updating it. And once you have that, just you know, paste it on. Just uh, you know, make a make a folder, use Tortoise SVN, whatever you want to do, and get that up on your uh, computer. Afterwards, let's start it. So this is where I keep it. Map cache maker. Now this is the executable file you need, and this is really what it's supposed to look like. So map cache, just hit run, whatever, and this is it. So the first thing we need to do is to actually open your map cache.dat. So go back to that directory, wherever it is. Uh, it's in there. Uh, go to Athena DB, and it should find the file in the spot quite quite easily for you. Just click that, and now you'll see a complete list of all the maps already loaded up in the Ethan emulation software. Just to add the new map, just go to file, hit that, 
go to your desktop and or whatever folder your map files are located in and double click on the dot gat uh, map file so I'll show you one so here's a simple gat file just double click on the dot gat because I already have an instance of it it's gonna say would you like to uh, overwrite it so I'll just say yes and if I just actually just type in the letters of the na of the map name Gaia there it is make sure you click save on your on the Wii map cache uh, uh, properties up here to save your updated map cache.dat and you're done you just updated your server software so it recognizes the proper gats it's supposed to get so it restricts players from walking to certain areas that you don't want them to go to right regardless if they edited the map or if you didn't protect it to make them so because maybe they wanted to bypass something well you're not going to bypass it because the server is going to restrict you and that's it so the next thing you got to do is really just start the start the server to start it just go to eathena scroll down and if you see start server just double click that you'll see three with three middles pop up your map your login and your uh, character server and after that you can start, uh, click the play button in your main directory and that will start your client the login details are uh, admin for username password for the password of it and if you want a normal player account just type in player for the username password for the uh, password account and the main website to put track on the server so the server is so I just loaded it up this is quite an old post it's from the old Athena server uh, sorry Athena forums and now it's our Athena.org right but you could see it's you know made by Cheetan and you could see Cheetan provides you with details on what this exact uh, all-in-one ready-to-go server emulation software it has for you. you know, it has some custom stuff. You can look into that on your own, but the main important part is really this, the, the account information. It should be, is it, yeah, no, yeah this, this, you make sure you put caps and stuff. You could, define, you could define your own accounts if you want to for you know more testing purposes. You could see there's older versions. You can look into that yourself, but that's really it. So you, that's how you add a map to test it and you will notice that your map in game looks different than your map in Browdit and that's quite important as a mapper because you have gotta work around and make sure that it looks appealing to the way you want it to do it uh, make those adjustments in the in the uh, map editor itself alright so if you have, any, if you have any, guys, any more questions, if you need help just drop me a, drop a line and uh, message me on the on the YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I can alright have a great day and talk to you soon